and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Targon Elusive is going to be our first deck today. We got Puppy joining us, even though she's looking a little sleepy. Um, we're going to be getting, we're going to be starting the day off with a nice aggressive deck. And honestly, that's what we're going to be doing with a lot of these decks here today. Going to be playing some aggro, all donation decks. Um, so all viewers submitted decks that look pretty sweet, starting over with Ionia and Targon getting Elusive. So normal elusive cards, but then going over to Targon for Lunari Shadestalker, another uh, nice brand new elusive, a two mana two three, and um, then Cygnus the Moonstalker as well in the top end will be able to give stuff elusive. You can see we're starting off hot with four one mana cards, um, and the Spacey Sketcher. Um, this one, how it discards a card. This is probably not what we're playing right away on turn one. But this card can make our Lunari Dustbringer and Gift Giver even better. Because like if we need the gem or we need the Dusk Petal Dust, then we can use them. But if we don't need them, then we can discard them and get a Celestial instead. So that's pretty nice. Having all those one drops is definitely important with Navori Conspirator. Got to have the one drop for that card. Um, and uh, yeah, that's kind, of, that's kind of about it. So let's start off with some Elusives. We'll go play our five games. We'll see how it goes. And, um, yeah, there we go. All right, so the rest of the day, we got Zed Quinn. That's going to be an Ionia Demacia deck. Basically, Demacia Bannerman splashing Zed and splashing Dawn and Dusk. That's the other card that we're splashing there. Uh, that could be pretty cool of, like, Genevieve Velmhart Dawn and Dusk <laughs> or, you know, Quinn Dawn and Dusk. I don't know. That could be pretty sweet. And then we got Zombie Tiana. Um... You know, we're going to be going with Harrowing and Tiana. And then Katarina Rally, another deck with Tiana. And just a whole bunch of Rally cards with Katarina. Okay, so we're going to keep our one drop and two drop combination. We'll mulligan our four and six mana cards. We got a nice little one two going on here. I want to play the Blade Scout and just offer the trade. Let's do that instead of playing the Gift Giver. Playing the Gift Giver gives us the gem, though, so we're missing out on the gem. But against a deck, especially with Gangplank, if I play the Gift Giver, then we can't block. And I'd rather be able to block and not just give them the free two points of damage. Stay safe. I know a way. More trades with the 3 2. Stow the Russians! Shackle the prisoners! Hmm. This is a lot of two health. A lot of two two health threats. Looking for fear. Man, that card's good. Now I wish I would have only played one Gift Giver. And so I could have just gemmed that one and then played Diana and Shadestalker. Alright, probably gonna do that and then Diana. I have my orders. Embrace the night. Quietly now. Your heretic. They probably have Noxion Fervor. Yep. They say how they how they just pass with their three mana. Most likely Noxion Fervor. It's pretty nice how Navori Conspirator can pick up like your Diana to get you you know get that back of having your quick attack challenger again. Yeah, I think that's my best bet, too. Alright, 
those who need it. Yeah, the cards in our deck are quite inexpensive. Which is nice of letting us get ahead. Um, that also does kind of mean that they don't have very a whole lot of power. Oh, that would have been good to have. As far as finishing games out. No, there's no Undyings in the Zombie Tiana deck, no. Um, it's like Harrowing with some Demacia cards. Oh, whoops, that's this deck. Uh, the deck is on Mobilitics, that you can check out there. Darkness hides in my path. This angry for action, I. They tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. So we're at nine. They got that Jack the Winner. I know a way. I will be heard. Now, knows me dying. Well, hopefully, play something first when we get to Concussive Bomb. Mr. Oh, that could be a great draw. Remember the objectives. Make the Empire proud. I hope they don't have Gangplank right here. At least Gangplank won't be leveled up if they do. So we're at five. Please no decimates. Oh my gosh. They had decimate. Come on. So now another sleep with the fishes is going to kill me. So I can't play Cygnus first. All they have to have is any unit and, I, and I'm dead. Yeah, maybe we draw another Pale Cascade. We got to just hope. Uh, so close. One point off. Face your heretic. Yeah, this is all we could do. I mean, I can't. I can't play anything because if I play something, then sleep with the fishes kills me. They got a little bit of overwhelm with the. They got like two overwhelm with the gangplank, and then the rest was just nexus damage. This is another really aggressive deck, and this is a slow hand because we we probably wouldn't play the Sketcher on turn one. We would we would play like the duo on turn two, and then have like Spacey Sketcher and Pale Cascade and stuff like that afterwards. Um. Hell Cascade is just a good card, though. Yeah, I know, right, Devil? That's That's been the story of, like, the last few days for us, of us being real close, but then these Bilgewater decks just getting enough Nexus damage to have us lose in the, in the last minute. There's been a lot of that going on. Yeah, that would have been great to have that deny for sure. There's plenty of killing left. Hard to get wow, that was pretty patient and, and really good with their Jagged Butcher. Alright, get him, Zed. Just stay alive here, let me have these up next turn. Oh no, hired gun. These control What's that you got there? 
why would you why would you block with a 2-3 instead of a 3-3 or like why like or sorry the other way around why would you block with a 3-3 instead of the 2-3 so I don't get to draw a card if I cast Pale Cascade right now um we would save Zed but Zed would have one health so it'd be very easy to kill and also has the vulnerable still worth it the upside of Zed is just too strong that it's worth saving. Son of a the journey is difficult. These will protect you. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Invisible to the ignorant. All right. No parlay. Sapphire, gem of our divine patron. We can heal. <laughs> Go to attacks. Be brave. Shadows cut deep as any weapon. Ever consider a henching career? Gets yours. Awesome. Now Zed levels up, goes up to three health. Still has vulnerable, of course. That's that's definitely the problem. Ancient things trapped in the ice. But that was a good turn. Um, I guess meteor shower. I mean, immortal files. Um, the immortal fire is really cool. It does cost eight mana. All right, so I can't do anything to keep Zed alive. Might as well do this now. Next turn, we'll have seven mana, so I'll be able to go Blade Scout and Cygnus. I won't be able to have... Darn. I won't be able to have both... Uh, Blade Scouts next turn, so I'm just playing one right now. Kind of hoping that they would attack. We could trade. Oh no! Oh man, I wish I had that. Quietly. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Injustice must be met with. They've stolen a couple of cards from me. Is in the nature of moon and stars. We were peaceful once. Well, they are at 10. Hearts unshackled. There we go. Cygnus the Moonstalker. One and one, two. You really close games. One went our way, one didn't go our way. Yeah, that was a. That did end up working well, saving the Zed, but that was one that I was worried about. Hello. Only a fool would enter battle the All right, this is a better looking hand. They don't want to just keep a handful of spells and expensive cards. We have 12 one mana cards. Uh, we're playing Leona Diana. Alright, do I trade 2 1 for 1 1? The answer is yes. Wow, discarding unspeakable horror? Really? They have to have, obviously, they have another one in hand, yeah, but. The reason why I'm trading 2 1 for 1 1 is that we have Zed. Zed's awesome. I don't want them to have like little one one be able to block Zed. But still, I'm I I would rather them have whatever Celestial over Unspeakable Horror. Unspeakable Horror is better than whatever Celestial card. Without a sound. Never mind. Not that one. That's the one. Never mind. <laughs> uh. Never mind. They picked the wrong row. They'll 
never see me coming! Down from the trees! Yeah. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Kill mortal. Die weakly. Prove yourself. So I'm letting this thing get. I'm letting this thing kill one of my two ones to get to three health. So that our Diana can be at three health as well. I rather just use this. Guess now should I kill Leona? Yeah, let's kill Leona. I don't have deny available anymore. I don't know. They have their own pill cascade. I regret casting that pill cascade. I will be heard. All right, I I regret that. Yeah, I just shouldn't have played my own pill cascade. I should have kept it. And yeah, just, just kill the 5-3. It's too risky killing the Leona. <laughs> Without having any of these things. Ours is the one true light. Heavens are divided, Diana, but sun and moon are ever linked. I'm trying to do all this attacking. I don't like it. Looking for a daring escape. <laughs> Just a tiny little concussive bomb. So if I, I counter this, they don't get the Celestial card, right? Yeah. They're at 20 still. It's not like we're killing them right this turn. I don't think they get it. Okay, yeah, so no, they did not get that card. Walk softly, strike quickly. Yep, and it gets rid of a Leona, because that was a Leona's Flowers card. Cool. Good thing we did that and just didn't use just the Cygnus that wouldn't have dealt that much, but... Uh, yeah. Now I don't have to deny for this thing. Alright, well that's... Most likely game over. Devotion through battle! The the Zed play killed me, you know, the the O the O2 challenger for the Zed that killed me. I see everyone. You spurn my gift. Protector. I will be free. Unseen. The moon is our queen. The night, her kingdom. This game's just over. Back to your caverns. You are not safe here. Your cruelty has roused us. Maybe they have no more daybreak cards in hand, even though they just created one. 
I'm not exactly sure how that would work. Bloom and fade with the morning. That was the card that Unspeakable Horror created. All right. Yeah, a few of the Celestials need to be tuned down. Cosmic Inspiration. I think the one turn makes sense, like the barrier. I, mean, I just want to keep all these. They're all Nightfall, but we have 12 one-mana cards. We can draw into one mana cards. They're all good of just having these elusives against a deck that isn't going to be dealing with elusives very well. Their only removal spell is probably like Unspeakable Horror and or Vile Feast. Um, which isn't good for Greenglade Duo, but that doesn't mean they're going to have it. See, there's one drop. Not playing that one yet, though. I don't want to discard any of these, but we weren't weren't going to play that on turn one anyway. We need that to enable our Lunary Shade Stalkers. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Now maybe I'm just playing Zed on turn three instead of going Spacey Sketcher Lunary Shade Stalker. Looks like they got the removal spell. Yep. It's probably their only removal spell in their deck. Fortunately, they had it. What's that noise? So one sketcher can discard the other if we don't find one of the other one drops. It will cr create better spells for us to discard. Everyone's a garden. We'll get the trickster. I'll pair with these elusives. They grow up so fast. This turn I'm planning on just going Trickster and Shade Stalker. And is that doing its thing? No, 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 no. So I like where we're at here. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be doing right now. We could be going, you know, Concussive Palm, pick up the Concussive Palm. That's an option. I think it's just a 3-3 Overwhelm. They didn't want to play anything first. 
Could pick something else up and go try to go with Lunari Priestess. I think I want to do this stun. We'll stun the Overwhelm. I'll probably have to block with the Tail of the Dragon, though. I do have Deny for Atrocity. We need it. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Time for a leap of faith. Hopefully another Concussive Palm. We got two in the deck. We have played one. Twin Disciplines would also help keep us alive. It's not going to do it. I mean, I guess I just, I just couldn't block with that Concussive Palm. That was the big mistake. I should have just played my 2-2 and picked the Concussive Palm back up after stunning. Because we weren't going to be able to kill them that turn. We're close in, like, all these games. Like, we need another turn in all these games, but we're just a turn too slow in all these games. Like, our, our elusives are just a little too small, you know, compared to everything else. We're just losing all these races by a turn. Both these twos are really good, but, again, we're going to need some help with them. have those other nine one mana cards deck where are they there you are they'll never see me coming could definitely be an avalanche turn we don't really need to Diana anyway right now Okay, well now we're gonna Diana. Cold and unforgiving as that with Pill Cascade, of course. Our light grows brighter. Means you can. I will be perfect. Heard. No, not perfect. Hell Cascade's so good. <laughs> card, the card's so good that just like the the ramp deck that's just trying to go big still plays Pill Cascade. King of Trolls coming through. Uh, Hang on, Buzzball. Hey, I'll knock him dead. So Diana's at three out of four now. Conceals you from our foes. So you can level up Diana and give Diana another plus two, plus one. So we can challenge and kill Trundle. Moonlight guide me, tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. Come, a new phase awaits. That thing's a five three. Heard. But I 
Awesome. I like having infinite pale cascade. I like that quite a bit. Time for a leap of faith. Bow to your king. Safeguard our homes. I should have just blocked with this one two on the four six. I should have, I should have blocked with this one two. Yeah, I should have because I'm just gonna get rid of it. I could have saved four life, but I am going for the kill. Yeah, they could definitely be main decking Icequake. Basically, I'll try to decide if it's worth it to play the Trickster or not. They could have just played Icequake right there and didn't. The Trickster, of course, is four power, right? It has three, plus it gives Green Glade Duo an extra one. I'm not scared of... I'm not scared of Avalanche. It's really just Icequake. Yeah, they could have Star Shaping. They could heal also. I think I... I think it's worth playing this. I'm gonna make a <laughs> okay. Oh, you don't challenge her right now? Our light grows brighter. Your heretic. All right, so it's on them to do something. And yep, they're star shaping. on that thing so it doesn't die to Vile Feast, but if they have if they have Vile Feast or Unspeakable Horror, it's not lethal. Hopefully they don't. Ah, Catalyst of Aeons. So much healing. <laughs> How are we supposed to ever kill him? So much healing. Attack for 18, but they, you know, they just healed a 20, so 18 doesn't do it. doesn't do it. So I should be at 14 right now. I should have blocked the 4-6 four, the, four, the previous turn with the thing that I was just going to kill anyway. I don't want to block the Avarosan Sentry. I don't want to give them the extra card. Yep. 
Alright, we're not gonna be hold a celestial card. We guess the charger. I guess we could behold a celestial card, but still that other thing wasn't very good anyway. Alright, so they're out of Pale Cascades. Ooh. Zed Cygnus? So planning on going Cygnus on the Charger, of course. Cygnus, how I missed your light. Thank the mother you're alright. What have you learned? We got there. It's a good win. Cool. So we went, we finished two and three, and we played tons and tons of close games. You know, that's, that's what this deck is doing. Um, the games that we win are very close. The games that we lose were really close as well. So this is a this is definitely a deck where, um, you know, just all of your sequencing matters a bunch, and every decision that you make matters a bunch because the games are really close. It's kind of the opposite of the deck that we just played against with the Trundle Aurelian Soul. Like that that kind of deck, you just, um, you know, you just play like your ramp cards early, and, and if you make a mistake, it's okay because your cards are so powerful they'll they'll catch you up. You know, like maybe you just play like a Sweeper or you know just a powerful Trundle or or a really insole or whatever, you know, like each each thing that you do is less valuable when you have cards that powerful. But these cards are are pretty synergistic, but you know, really low to the ground for sure. Like we're really low to the ground, not a whole lot of power. Gotta maximize everything, get that 20 damage in. And so that makes it yeah, that does make it a pretty fun deck to play because of that. Because um, you know, you really get to decide, you know, the game's kinda in your hand a lot of the times. Um, if you can figure out how to pull it off and figure out how to pull it off two of the five times and not the other three. Um, all right, so there we go. That's Targon Elusives. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always really like those, always appreciate those. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.